Yeah. So we've got Casper yeah. and we've got George. Yes. Uh, and Casper, you're bringing George to court today. Yes. Could you tell us why, please? Yes. He climbed our house. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> he, cl he climbed our house because he is a free climber. <laughs> He's a free climber. He's a free climber. <laughs> and he broke the Wi-Fi. And I'm a programmer. So I couldn't work for 15 days until the engineer came. Yeah, you need Wi-Fi for programming. Hey, All right, yeah. mate, yeah. <laughs> I know you're programming, mate. How did he break the Wi-Fi well, climbing up the house? I don't know exactly how he broke it, but I went outside to see if it was all looking good from the outside. Yeah. Um, I look up and there is George climbing the house, my dear friend, who now I'm not so fond of. Right, so what do you want from the court today? First, I want him to pay six months of the Wi-Fi. You've not had Wi-Fi for six months? Uh, no, I feel like that's a just amount that he should now pay. OK, fine. And also, never climb the house again. <laughs> OK. I mean, not climbing the house feels like a reasonable request, doesn't it? <laughs> that's what I said. Um, George, you're a, a free climber. Exactly. So I climb houses, buildings, climbing walls, all without the assistance of any safety gear. No ropes, no harnesses, just me, myself, some climbing shoes. And a bag of chalk. The way you're talking, mate, is like you think you're a war veteran. You're not a hero. <laughs> <laughs> no safety equipment, no harnesses. <laughs> you're choosing to do this. You're not going to war, Nobed. All right, just relax. <laughs> What's your defence, by the way? Well, um, on my house, there's something called a traverse, and that's where you move horizontally okay. across a ledge. And in two months' time, I'll be climbing something 130 metres high where there is this traverse. So I'm using our house as great practice and training so I feel controlled and calm when I'm climbing 130 metres high. And how tall is your house in metres? Uh, three metres high. <laughs> <laughs> so it's less than a hundredth of the... Exactly. OK, that sounds like great practice. <laughs> Can I just ask, so... sorry, before we move on, yeah. I think it's important to establish whether or not you bought these chain necklaces for each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, George, why won't you just pay back the Wi-Fi? You're climbing up the house like a goddamn crazy monkey. I have no remorse. If I don't train properly, I could die. Whereas if the Wi-Fi's disrupted, he can't, you know, watch porn. Yeah, but... You... <laughs> and then he'd die. Yeah. <laughs> How much is six months' Wi-Fi? Um, six months works 45 times six. And I, I don't know what that is, but basically... <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on, I've got this. Thank you. 45 times 6 equals... No, oh, God, my calculator's broken. 270. Thank you. 270. 270. This is like the shittest episode of Countdown. <laughs> um, OK, so it's 270 quid. Why won't you just pay him the 270 quid? It's too much. I didn't deliberately climb the house to... You did deliberately climb. That's exactly <laughs> what you did. <laughs> you described did... exactly what the situation was. <laughs> you deliberately climbed the house. In the future, I don't intend to disrupt the Wi-Fi. I only intend to climb the house. 